little faster. Because, you know, when you go like this, then the lats are no longer engaged. And it's this movement that allows the upper body to roll the shoulders back, and that will change the posture for people when the swing isn't there. Right? They'll learn what their lats are and how to pull them down while the front lifts. So that's really good. Okay. So what we're going to do is, I'm just walking back to give you some room. So we're going to shift into a wide straddle forward fold. So hips go back over the heels. Keep the feet wide if you can. So walk your feet forward again and then just shift your hips back. There you go. Good. Shift your hips back away from me. And then hook with your elbows. Yeah. Good. Very nice. <laughs> just my head's in yours. I love it. It's so funny. Okay, great. So from here, the first thing I do is I'm just going to tilt my pelvis from side to side. You can do bent knee or straight legs, whatever feels good. So just loosening up the whole bowl of the pelvis. That looks great. Now that might be wide enough for your stance, but you could probably come just a little bit wider. There you go. Just like you would in, in your normal wide straddle. Good. So just enough so you're really able to hang, pressing into the outer shins, spreading the sit bones by turning the heels out slightly. That's great. Okay, so we're gonna keep that right elbow hooked. Bring the right, left hand down underneath your chest, straight underneath you, right? Now when we, when we look up towards the right, we also pull down strongly with the arm. So keep the, um, like I always make a fist to engage that arm and then pull down. So I'm gonna inhale and lengthen through center. Exhale, squeeze and twist. Nice. Inhale, lengthen. So I kind of pulse through it. Breath. Exhale, bringing out the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Now on this last one, we're going to reach for the right ankle. So going into a further twist, look up towards the sky. Still keep that nice long line of energy from the tailbone to the crown of the head. So we're twisting on axis. Really good. Okay, inhale back to center. So this is how we change sides. We're gonna let the swing slide into the wrist, the top arm. Yep, we just kind of lean forward. Now we're gonna bring it overhead. When we do, there'll be an X in the swing. Yeah, now thread both hands through if you can. Just wiggle them through. Okay, great. Now drop the chest. Yep, keep sinking the hips back. That looks great. The first pose is just opening up the heart. So you can, for me, I can really feel it down underneath my armpits and into the subscapular. And this is a really tight area for people. So when people have shoulder pain and injury, it's usually because underneath is so tight. So this can be a really intense pose. So the elbows can be bent here. So just try it with bent elbows and notice the difference. Mm -hmm. Lift your chest a little bit. There you go. And then bend the elbows. Very nice. Okay, good. Now if we're going to do some, let me turn this down slightly. Now, if we were gonna do some strengthening here, kind of like more Pilates style or TRX, we're gonna inhale, so you can straighten the arms again if it's comfortable. Inhale, press all the way up to stand, using the arms to pick the body up. Back stays relaxed, stretch the belly, and then exhale, come back down again. Nice and slow. Inhale, press and use your arms. Beautiful. Exhale, release, pause at the bottom. Now, if you're really engaging with the arms, you'll feel your belly um, when you come up. I can feel it all the way into my navel when I'm pressing. And then exhale down again. So you can do about five to ten of those, depending on how much strength training you want to do versus just relaxing and stretching. And to change sides, we're going to inhale, come to stand, all the way up. Press, press, press. Okay, so unthread the left, bring it over top, and then hook with the elbow and take the X out. And then we drop to second side. Now on our second side, right hand right underneath the chest. Look and twist to the left. Pull down strongly. So I make a fist and then I'm pulling my, my palm towards my chest as I look up towards the sky. So the more you pull down, the deeper the twist, right? I usually get a really great adjustment here. I inhale and I extend just to kind of pulse. And then I exhale and I deepen the twist. Inhale, extend. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Now this time I'm going to exhale and I'm going to reach for the left ankle and look up towards the sky, keeping that nice long axis along the spine. If the neck needs a break, you can always look down towards the ground, but see if you can keep 
that ringing out action all the way through the neck. And then we're gonna inhale, come to center. So when we exhale, we straighten the arm and then we slide into the wrist, right? Then we just swing it overhead, start to lift the chest. And now I hook with my hands, but the elbows can be bent for this one. So this one's more of like a tricep exercise. So I give people the option to just stay here and hang. If they don't feel like doing the strengthening, this is great. This is also good for that whole underarm area. And if they want to go further, we're going to inhale. So from, from the bent elbows, we're going to straighten the arms and come up. Inhaling all the way up. Nice. Exhale down, lower slow. Very good. Inhale up and press, lift. Very good. Exhale, come on down. So remember to use your arms and not your back to lift. So just your arms, like almost like resistance training with your body weight. Beautiful. Inhaling up. Exhale and come back down and just pause at the bottom. Now sometimes I'll also just explore, I call it aerial yoga play, so we can really just experience our body and explore.